Pitsanulok is the gateway to northern Thailand and one of the oldest cities in the kingdom. It was founded more than 600 years ago. This is where it all started, the Jan Palace, the residence of numerous Thai kings and the birthplace of King Narasuan the Great, who shook off years of Burmese domination in the late 16th century. In a sense, present-day Thailand was built on these foundation stones. King Narasuan was Thailand's warrior king, and his do-or-die spirit is symbolized by the fighting cockerel. Legend has it that young Narasuan won the freedom of Ayutthaya by betting on a cockfight with a Burmese prince. As a king, he established the state of Siam by more traditional means, military force. And it all started here at the Jan Palace. This is the original entranceway where kings would arrive on horseback or elephant back. The original palace is thought to be right up there, and the Bodhi tree here dates back to the days of King Narasuan. Legend has it that when he moved to the new capital of Ayutthaya, a branch fell off the tree. From the Jan Palace, we caught a tram into the town center. These are the original founders of the city, now guarding an elementary school. After passing Wat Nang Paya, this monument marks the original dirt highway. Like many Thai train stations, there's a splendid old engine sitting in front of this one. Notice anything unusual about this street? No dangling tangle of power cables. In this part of town, they've been buried. These cement shop houses were built to replace the wooden ones consumed by the Great Fire of 1955, started by a four-year-old playing with matches. The clock tower was one of the few surviving buildings. And here's King Rama I, the original founder of the current Shakri dynasty, who defended the city against a brutal Burmese assault in 1775 just as half a world away, America was starting its war of independence. Our next stop in Pitsanu Lok is Wat Prasi Ratana Mahatat, or Wat Yai for short. Wat Yai means big temple, and it is absolutely massive. It's also very old. This part was built back in 1357. Inside is what is reckoned to be the finest golden Buddha image. There are two copies in Bangkok and Rayong. Right now, let's go look at the original. And there it is, magnificent. It was molded more than 700 years ago and depicts Buddha as he overcomes Mara, the Hindu god of death. Wat Yai is breathtakingly grand, impeccably ornate, and imbued with a strong sense of the eternal. So what was life like in Pitsanulok back in the days of King Narasuan the Great? To find out, I came here to the Sergeant Major Tawi Folk Museum. With admission just 50 baht, this is the finest collection of household tools and artifacts from the last few hundred years that I've seen in Thailand. Look, a set of cowbells to go with the carts. Check out these animal traps. This one was for rabbits. Rats were the victims here. Porcupines had to look sharp. There's a fish trap. And two different traps for snakes. The guillotine actually just pinned them down without killing them. But this contraption decapitated them after they poked their heads through. There were implements for dealing with humans too. Simple, but effective. On a more artistic note, 
Look at this menagerie of coconut shredders. This was for grinding rice, and this was for steaming it. Then you could put it in these storage jars, or in one of these bowls or pots. These were also used for carrying food from the market. Now this larger jar contained water, and you used it to wash your feet before entering the house, because you went barefoot. This collection really is vast. Look at these coins from different eras. This lead one was from Ayutthaya. Here's an old sewing machine. And here are some of the fashions back in the day. Can you picture this on the cover of Vogue? And of course, no museum is complete without its collection of underwear. Move over, Victoria. This is Ayutthaya's secret. As he showed us around his aquarium of inland fish, Sergeant Major Dr. Tawi told us Thai people should be prouder of their culture instead of copying other countries. He started his collection in 1983 and he financed it himself, virtually bankrupting himself in the process. Now it's a national treasure he plans to pass on to his son. As night falls, we head down to the night market. And since Pitsanulok is the gateway to northern Thailand, we had to indulge in some northern delicacies. What better way to end the day than with a gourmet variety of fried insects? Historical treasures and culinary delights. The sights, the sounds and the tastes of Pitsanulok.